Hi all, this is Gerdy, Gerdy van Woerd at daregreatlycoaching.com, live your own life coach. And I want to talk about the many ways that lead to your ideal life. As I said in the introduction, in the post, I was almost a truck driver. Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamed of having all my uh, driving license. Of course, when I turned 18, I started um, getting my, you know, uh, getting my regular driving license for a car. And when I got older and my parents were not the ones anymore that were determining what kind of driver license I was going to have, I got a motorcycle license. But in the back of my mind, there was always this dream of one day being allowed to and being able to, to, to drive one of those big Mack trucks that you have in the United States. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because for some reason, people seem to think that there is only one way to get to the life you want to live. And that is just quit. Quit whatever it is that you're doing and, um, you know, start over. And most people don't do that. 99% of the people that I run into and say, Gerdy, I wish I had your kind of courage. I wish I had the courage to just quit what I was doing and start over. Don't do it. And they're right. I was scared to do that. I never did that. People look at my life and think, oh, I did exactly that. I just quit. I sold my house and moved to a different country. But nothing could be further from the truth. When I figured out what it, is, what it is that I wanted to be doing with my life, which included moving to a different country and quitting the job that I was in, quitting the career that I was in, I started figuring out what little steps I could take to actually do that. And that took a couple of years. It also included coming to the conclusion that I would have to have a job, some kind of work that would bring in money, besides just being a um, mountain hiking guide. And right now, I still do that job. The job that I figured out I would do was uh, property management. So I take care of people's houses, houses of people that live abroad but have property here, which is perfectly fine. It's actually sort of what I did when I was still a facility manager, but just on a smaller scale. I do that because it enables me to be a mountain hiking guy, to be a life coach, because both of these things are not yet bringing in enough money to do what I want to do, to live the way I want to live. And there's no shame in that. But also, it shows you I didn't just quit and said, okay, I am only going to be a mountain hiking guide. I'm only going to be a life coach. Because those are the two things that I really want to be doing for the rest of my life. I'm not there yet. I'm working towards it. What does that have to do with my trucker's license? And by the way, I also have my bus driving license. But what does that have to do with that? Well, that's a backup plan. Since I came to Austria, or when I decided I wanted to go to Austria and start living here and earn my money here and make a life here I thought I'd better have a backup plan and I wanted a backup plan that would give me fun that I would enjoy doing and a backup plan that I could probably always find a job in there's always need for truckers and there's always need for bus drivers so that knowledge combined with the fact that I always wanted to learn how to drive these two vehicles was enough motivation for me to get my licenses. I haven't had to use them yet, and I hope it never will be uh, necessary. But it's still there. I still have my licenses. They're all valid. I can use them if I need to. Why am I telling you this? Because I don't want you to think that living your own life and moving towards living your own life can only be done by being drastic. That's not the case. Take little steps. That's all you need to do. Start moving with little steps in the right direction. And if that is, if that means you will become a truck driver, that's great. If it means you will have to 
do stuff that do things that you're not trained for that you perhaps even are overqualified for that's also fine as long as it brings you what you need what you want from life all right so that's my message for today take little steps don't be afraid to do stuff to have jobs a single job or extra jobs uh, next to whatever it is you do I don't think I said so but since moving to Austria I obviously have worked as a property manager as a um, mountain hiking guide still do that as a taxi driver don't do that anymore and as a um, what you would call it a ski instructor and I still do that I actually love that one I love teaching kids how to ski so that's what I do but the most important thing I do is life coaching together with mountain hiking and combining those two so that's what I do that's how I am able to live the life I want to be living my question to you what do you do to be able to live the life you want to be living I hope this helps you know little steps except that you may have to do some work next to whatever it is that you want to be doing or maybe even go on doing what it is that you're already doing and do the thing that you really love to do as a um, as a um, as a hobby as something that you do next to whatever it is that is your main occupation all right have a great one as always go there greatly have a great day everybody bye bye